Uh, hello, this is a quick, quick uh, guide on how to apply for a bank guarantee on HSBC Net. Uh, so first you go to the menu bar and then you'll find different menus here so you click on create solutions uh, so if you don't have this these options uh, please get in touch with your system admin so he will enable these features for you uh, so as you can see on the right side you see under guarantee slash, uh, slash standby dc so you click on guarantee slash standby dc so here you will find many many uh, options uh, for you to create bank guarantee applications approve etc so uh, we'll first go to the create uh, guarantee application as you can see uh, so if you are applying bank guarantees under efl headquarters uh, then you would find uh you know Expolanka international here so you can create uh, a bank guarantee template or a bank guarantee application here alternatively if you are from expo lanka freight you need to go to the right side of your screen uh, and click on edit here and from the drop down uh, you create you select the location okay i think only expo lanka international is enabled here so if you're Expolanka Freight, you would find Expolanka Freight here, right? So um, <clears throat> under this guarantee heading, you go to create guarantee application. If you want to create a new guarantee application for a new bank guarantee, and then you click on go. So once you click on go, as you can see, uh, uh, you will find the fields that you need to complete. Uh, so make sure that whilst you enter the information uh, that you press on save and continue tab here uh, because it says your login session will time out after 30 minutes so please save your work every 28 minutes to avoid data loss so uh, i don't think it'll take that much of time but in case it's better to as soon as you enter the information before you go to the next page better best if you can click on save and continue so we'll take one of one of the examples uh, we're going to apply for a bank guarantee for uh, for Etihad so as you can see uh, the first field is uh, the company name that is the company name on behalf of which you're going to issue the bank guarantee so you you can easily copy and paste these to the fields and then you have to uh, enter the address of the applicant right and then yes so you can do this so make sure all the data is entered properly <clears throat> right and then what you can do is uh, you can go to and go and enter the beneficiary of the bank guarantee now in this case it is uh, we'll just click on the bank guarantee format sent by Ronnie Bongso um, as you can see the beneficiary of the bank guarantee is ACE Aviation Services Limited so you enter the details here and then you enter the address you can copy and paste and then you enter this full address sometimes you might have to go to the next field so as you can see Gulshan and then you uh, see a Gulshan okay then circle to the car the car you enter it here and then save and continue now let's see right okay okay so then you can go to the next step click it and then you select the guarantee type if it's an advanced payment facility lease performance tender or other so I'm going to select other here because uh, this guarantee is to get credit from the airlines right so we'll put uh, 
we just go through this format a little bit. So the validity of the bank guarantee would be 12 months uh, and right having its exit of ease for holding right so let, let's just go through this format and uh, see okay so they have given okay so now since we are in september i'm going to enter september 1st as the first date uh, of the guarantee now we need to look at if there are any extended period that is if there is an there is a claiming period so just try claim here right uh, right there's a specific claim period Okay, there does not seem to be any claim period for this bank guarantee. Yeah. So what we'll do is uh, we'll put, we'll enter September 1st as the, uh, sorry, it will be 31st of August. That's one year from 1st of September. This is the expiry date here right so and then we put the guarantee amount don't forget it's uh as mentioned bdt that is bangladesh taka 5 million so we enter bdt 5 million here All right uh, yes and then expiry date is 31st uh, effective date we can uh, we can put it as we'll put it as first of September <coughs> first of September okay so expiry date is 31st uh, now we have to be careful here it should be 31st August 2021 All right so you need to drag this down and click it and then the start date would be so that's exactly one year right so then there's there are these other options also extend auto extend uh then we say no okay uh, so just go through this uh, so it's it's a 12 month guarantee yeah it's a 12 month simple guarantee so there's no claiming period mm. yeah as you see from this example also we can see that it's it's a one-year guarantee there's no claim period uh, so we'll put it on the urdg rules and then save and continue right then we go to the next step right it's uh, no need to put contract details uh, nothing guys here then one more step and then as per the format send separately because we have it in on the word document so what we can do is uh, there's a tab here maintain supporting documents so we can uh, attach it there so let me save this uh, on the Bangladesh BGs, this aviation ATR. Right, so we can go and select it from that respective folder. So you go to the desktop, Bangladesh. Bangladesh beaches as you can see is creation and then we go down and continue just check it again here okay we need to add it 
So as aviation, then we go down here, we add it, and then we continue. Right. Then we go to the next step. So we put it method of delivery will get it collected. So we can give those details later on. And under special instructions, we'll put uh, to be issued via HSPC Bangladesh. So just put I put uh, the address here. <coughs> And then save and continue again. Right, and then we submit it here. Right, so once this is done, we can go and confirm it here. And then, right, so and then we can go to person. Yeah. That's it.